Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we have the Pink and Main November card kit. This is called Hello You, and I do have an unboxing, and I'll have that linked down below if you missed it. But let's jump right into it. As far as I know, this kit is still available, um, so I'll have it linked down below. But we're going to start with doing a bunch of stamping. I'm going to be making some mini slim lines with our first cards, and so I am going to just kind of move this piece of cardstock around so that I can get a bunch of these leaves stamped out using some uh, ink on three blackout ink. And then when I'm happy with how many I have, we're going to grab in the solid bit. And that solid bit, uh, I'm pardon my head, just kind of stamping right over the top. We're going to do that for all of them and I get better as I go along, but it's pretty easy to line up. Then we'll bring in our matching die and we'll run that through our die cutting machine a bunch of times until we have all of those die cut out. Like I said, we're making two mini slimline cards with this one. So once those are all cut out, then I'll bring in my cardstock. So this piece of cardstock is some of that Swiss dot cardstock that came in the kit. It's a tan color. It's really pretty. And I cut it down to be three inches by six inches. And now I'm just kind of lining up my swag of leaves on top or um, on the side here and I'll just kind of stick those down on top of each other and I'm uh, I'm alternating how they go so it'll be like tip to tip and it'll be you know back end to back end and then we'll just do that all the way up that left hand side and we will have a little bit sticking off of the top and the bottom that's okay we can trim that off later but I just want to get that on both of those pieces so mini slim line, if you're unfamiliar with those, measure roughly three inches by six inches when those uh, when it's a closed card. I'm bringing in my sentiment now, which we're bringing in the friend sentiment and then one of the other small sentiments. And I'm going to stamp this out using some Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. It is a very crisp black ink. I'm stamping that several times on this piece of white cardstock that I have. It's just like a leftover piece that I had. And so I stamped that three times because I wasn't sure how many times I might want to use it uh, on cards in the future. And it says, I am grateful for you. So I'm going to trim that down after I stamp it on both pieces. It's just, I figure when I'm making mini slimline, I might as well make at least two. <laughs> because a mini slimline, if you have 12 by 12 card stock, you can get four cards out of one piece of 12 by 12. So now I'll just take my snips and snip down these pieces just the little sentiments so that we can attach those to our card panel using that same liquid glue and I will have a little bit hanging off the edge once again that's totally fine I can trim that down using my scissors or my guillotine trimmer so I'll flip this over and trim off that excess and then I'll take those leftover swag and I'll put those on my other piece and I, you'll notice I have two swags left over. But our card base, like I said, measures six inches by six inches. We're gonna score that at three inches. Just make sure that's nice and folded. And then we'll take our liquid glue and I can, we can adhere our card panel down to our card base. Once that card panel is on the card base, we'll take one of the leftover swag and attach that to the inside. Just to have a little something, a little something something in the, on the inside. And then I am going to take some of those glitter enamel dots and we'll put about three on the front of each one of those. These are very simple, but I really like how nice these are. S super easy card to send or give. And there you have it. That's going to finish off card number one. I really like how those little mini slim lines turned out. Card number two is going to be a square card. So I have a piece of the white cardstock cut down to five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm going to pull in the embossing folder. And I've said it before, I love that these are big six by six embossing folders. It's great, it gives you a lot more options. So just follow the instructions on your die cutting machine and you should have no problem. But that's what it looks like. It's so, so pretty. And I'm just going to leave it as a white background. I just think it's cool. It's nice and subtle and it's beautiful. So now we're going to bring in some little, a little bit more of that cardstock. I'm going to stamp out one of the other wreaths or, or one of the wreaths. There's two in here and this one has like um, citrus on it. I'm going to color it or stamp it out like it's going to be some oranges. But we are starting with this later gator 
no, this one's Overzealous by Simon Hurley Create. And I'm just stamping the leaves. I love that it you have that option here with this stamp set. You could color them, but I mean, why not just stamp them? <laughs> when there is a stamp that can you just stamp it about five times and you've got them all colored. So then I'm bringing in some Guppy for my citrus and I'll stamp all of those. And then we're gonna take that same color Guppy and we're gonna stamp out the word hello. There's a solid and an outline in this uh, stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp the solid and then I'm gonna take the outline and we're going to ink that up using that Blackout Ink by Ink on 3. And we'll stamp that over the top. You could probably line it up better, you know, with your Misty or another stamp positioning tool. But I kind of like that it's off center. I think it looks pretty good. We'll bring in that matching die for the hello and our wreath. And then we'll tack that down with a little bit of mint tape. And then we can run that through our die cutting machine. And then once that's run through our die cutting machine, I'm going to stamp out another sentiment onto some black cardstock. This is just some black cardstock I had in my stash. I'll use a magic powder bag, pull out the sentiment that I want, stamp it with some juicy embossing ink by Ink on 3. I'm going to do that a couple times because I'd rather have some extras if we're doing this. And I can use those on other cards. And then I'll cover that with some alabaster embossing powder and heat set that till that is smooth and melted. Now we need to trim that down, so I'll bring in my guillotine trimmer. I love doing this. It's just an easier way for me to cut those out. And then we're going to put some foam tape on the back of our wreath. And we're also going to put a little bit on the back of the words hello and then our other little sentiment. But I'll peel off that release paper on the wreath and we're going to center that up in the middle of our five and a quarter piece. And I'll just put foam tape on the center. And then I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue on the words or on the letters O and H, so that those, those will be attached to our wreath. And then same thing with our bottom sentiment. You've been on my mind lately. I've just put some foam tape in the center and I'll use a little bit of liquid glue on the sides so that way it'll be nice and attached. And then for our card base, I use some of the blue cardstock that came in the kit and I cut that down to five and a half inches by 11 inches. So this is going to be a five and a half inch by five and a half inch square. And then our white panel will fit on there nicely and give a nice little blue border. So I'll just use that same liquid glue and attach down our panel to our card base. And then I leave it at that. I am uh, just gonna leave it like that and I love it. So that's gonna finish off card number two. Okay, I won't lie, card number three is not my favorite, but that doesn't mean one of you won't like it. So I'm gonna start off with some of the patterned paper, which I do like to do, uh, and I'm gonna take the stencil that came in the kit, and I'm gonna tack that down with a little bit of mint tape, and we're gonna blend right over the top. Sometimes it's really fun to add a little bit of texture to an already, I mean, you know, not busy because this uh, the pattern I picked wasn't busy to uh, it's kind of fun to bring in that stencil or a stencil and add a little bit of texture to a piece that already has something going on so I like that I think that looks pretty good I use the guppy right over the top of that cardstock and I'm gonna trim it down so my whole goal here with this is I'm gonna trim off the parts where the stencil didn't go and I eventually want this piece to be about, mm, let's say, four inches by five and a quarter. So it'll leave a nice little border around a, a little white border around the A2 card that I plan to use. Uh, and I just was using that Hello die cut that I had already die cut, like the negative piece to kind of measure, because the goal is to have Hello on that slanted angle there. I want to bring in just a strip of this pattern paper. So I'm kind of trying to line that up and I decide what I need to do is use some mint tape on the back of it. So we'll use, we'll grab just a little scrap of mint tape. I'm going to tack that so that the sticky side is facing up and then I'll just tack this piece on there. And then this way I can put this into my guillotine trimmer and trim this down so that it will be um, nice and rectangular to measure the four, four inches by five and a quarter inches. It just, this, I'm sure there's an easier way, but th this to me seemed to be the easiest. 
And so now I'll take my liquid glue and I'll just adhere this right down to the front of that card base, which measures five closed. It's five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. So you'll see there's that white border. All right, next I will bring in my stamp, which is that Hello, it's the solid stamp. And I'm going to ink that up with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, stamp it right there in the center, and then we're going to do some second generation stamping on the left and right hand side of it. So that'll make the, the first Hello that I stamped nice and dark and the rest of it a little bit lighter. I had this sentiment from earlier, so I just glued that down, and then I'll bring in some more of those glitter enamel dots, and I'm going to be pretty liberal with these. I've mentioned this before. I feel like I sort of struggle with the placement of these because, you know, you do want your eye to go a certain way, and sometimes that's a little bit difficult for me to kind of think about how your eye should naturally track on the front of a card, and so I did struggle here, but I think I think it ended up being okay. Again, this wasn't my favorite card, but I mean, you know, it's not terrible. I like it. I like it. I'll definitely send it out to someone I love. So there is card number three. Apparently I forgot to hit record when making card number four, so we'll talk through it. Uh, as you can see, I do have a little bit of a seam. I tried to take two pieces of the same pattern paper and line those up for a slimline card. I stamped and die cut out uh, three wreaths two of the green and one with the citrus. I die cut out the word hello out of the pink glitter cardstock that came in the kit and then I used the shadow die cut in white and stamped out my sentiment on some more white and attached that down to the front of this slimline card base. For our final card today, I did remember to turn on the camera. So we have some white cardstock that measures five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna take the leaf wreath stamp that came in the stamp set and ink that up with some jet black ink. And just make sure that that's kind of centered and nice and crisp. And then I'll pull in the leaf stamp, the solid leaf stamp, and I will use that overzealous uh, over all of those leaves. I'm going to keep this one fairly simple because the technique that we're going to be doing deals with die cutting and I really want your focus, your eye, to go to what is die cut. So now that that is done, our stamping is done, I'm going to pull in the hello die cut. Not the shadow, just the hello, and I'm going to tack that down with a little bit of mint tape, run that through my die cutting machine and keep all of the pieces, all of them, even the center of the O. And then I'm going to use the hello die and cut that out on some yellow cardstock four more times. Now we need to start assembling. So we're going to take each of those letters and we're going to grab the four yellow pieces and we're going to just glue those all together. You could skip this and you could use foam tape if you wanted to, but I find that this really is such a neat effect when you look at the card from the side and you'll see what I'm talking about once we really get going. Um, so once you have four of them all stacked up on top of each other, nice and lined up, the next thing you want to do is grab one of the white pieces. So this is going to be five thick, basically. And you'll do that for all of the letters. Now you can get rid of the centers of the O's from the yellow die cuts, but you got to keep the white one. My card base is some yellow cardstock that came in the kit that measured five and a half inches by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches. So it's a square card. And then we're gonna just tack that down with that same liquid glue that we've been using. And now we can start fitting our letters back in. Because we made those thicker, these are gonna stand up. They're gonna be kind of subtle, but you'll definitely be able to see the word hello in there. And you'll see why I didn't wanna do a whole lot more stamping or make the background too much busier. We'll get all of those pieces kind of lined up in there. Uh, and now I'm just gonna put some glue right there in the center put our L's on top and then for our O we're going to just fill in that whole O stick down the O and then the center has to go in there as well that makes it nice and cohesive and I'll just push that down with my reverse tweezers and off camera I did put some glitter enamel dots but check that out it's a simple card but it's really beautiful and that'll finish off card number five. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the cards that I made for you today. I'd love to know which one was your favorite. If you did have a favorite, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section down below. Big huge thank you to all of you who watch my videos, who comment, who have been subscribers, all that. Use my affiliate links. You guys are amazing and I really do appreciate you. I uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.